Good morning. Welcome to ABC 123 Trader. Today is, wow, September 27th, 2021. It's 10 minutes before they open. I guess we'll start taking a look at the, the NASDAQ features today. So we'll get into the risk disclaimer. All forms of trading carry high level of risk, so you should only speculate with money you can afford to lose. You can lose more than your initial deposit and stake. Please ensure your chosen method matches your investment objectives. Familiarize yourself with the risk involved and if necessary, seek independent advice. U.S. government required disclaimer. Commodity Futures Trading Commission. Trading financial instruments of any kind, including options, futures, and securities have large potential rewards, but also large potential risks. You must be aware of the risks and be willing to accept them in order to invest in the options, futures, and stock markets. Do not trade with money you cannot afford to lose. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Mr. Mike here. I've got to hopefully can show you a trade today, possibly two. And we'll see what the markets are doing. I actually haven't been doing that much except for shaving my head off this morning. So let's see what... Uh, Let's see what everybody is saying here. Let's see how evil the markets were overnight here. So the Nasdaq is already down 1%. So oh, some might still go down more. Okay, futures are climb brace for another volatile week, of course. Uh, social net nearly beat. Facebook says pausing effort to build Instagram for kids. Who cares? House will vote by pausing in infrastructure Thursday. So that's going to be an interesting one. This one's really interesting on here. So I've been I've been uh, bit trade or not bit trading. I've been actually I have been. I have a couple of bitcoins of different styles, and I'm doing a test here. I should show it to you guys sometimes here. So let me do it really quick. quick. So basically, I'm mining. I have a rig miner. I'll I'll show you how it works later. So basically, right now on my bitcoin miner, I have right now two two GPUs mining. And uh, I just transferred a whole bunch of money just the other day. That's why it's only 284 right now. And so when I go to my Coinbase account, what I'm doing is, uh, and then I have another account, but I rarely use the, the Coinbase. The only reason why is I'm just doing a trade today. I just want to put it in there. I only put $20 in there, but I've got 3 million coins. And I'm just going to leave it. I don't care. Maybe five years, maybe we were something. So that's what I'm doing on that one. But basically what I'm doing on my uh, mining machine, I, I buy a lot of Cardano, and that's in a different wallet, which is getting staked right now. It's in my Yori account. So I started this, um, I started this about, um, I think just a little, oh, it's September. So one month ago. So one month ago, so so far in one month, I've created 72 ADA, and right now uh, Cardano fell. So about a hundred, about 140 to 150 dollars US. Not bad for buying one card. I just bought the second card a little while ago, but I couldn't get it online. So I finally built my rig. So it's really neat. So basically, basically I've just been dumping my initial one in every every week, you know. Once a week, I've been adding a little bit, but now I have uh, two cars, so I'll see how fast it goes. I was going to dump it into this Cardona wallet, but I was since they introduced this coin, I said, I'm just going to buy 3 million coins of it, 20 bucks worth. Other than that, that's about it for my mining experience. But it's actually kind of fun to watch and, you know, kind of like a an income that you never have to worry about. You just let it build up and you can transfer it over. But let's get into the trading now. So basically, S&P is down, Nasdaq's down. Dow is up, very flat. So negative, negative is like crazy. Oil, 75, wow. Back in the oil patch. Nope, not me. I'm done. And let's see what Fox Business says. And Fox Business... Off to Fox Business YouTube. What am I? Th they have a YouTube channel now. Fox Business. Facebook. I'm I'm brain farting guys here. Sorry guys. 
I just want Fox Business. That was right up top. Uh, house to base infrastructure, basically. Economic losing momentum. So there's still negative news actually in the buy phase. So I wonder if it is going to be a deeper retracement. Interesting. Well, we haven't had one for a while. And uh, I'll show you what I'm trying to do. I, You know I love experimenting on charts. And maybe I can give you guys aha moments. And let's first go to our initial chart here. And uh, let's take a look at it. Five minutes before open. So basically I said after this GAN fed we hit the negative cycle. We had that deepest retracement here and we did have another deep pullback. Maybe we'll pull back down here again today. I don't know. We did have that nice butterfly rebound, but it is pushing aggressively. And we'll see if they're let's see what where on the GAN fan that they, they're flirting with. So they're flirting with the white line right now. So we punch through this face, punch through maybe from here or here, so we don't know yet. We really don't know. And the second thing we've got to look for, let's see where the pullback is. I don't have order blocks on here. Let me put order blocks on here. And I also have to update uh, my pack for the Discord. I updated just the other day, but I realized I took off an indicator that I use all the time. So just to give you a heads up here. So I'm going to make that a purple. See where we are in the heavy order blocks. So they're just chewing away. So. 15,000 is still where the last order block is if it does come back down. A little over 15,000 and this is where a retracement for the high. So they've been just chewing away these ones. Well, 13.8? Possible. Possible, possible. Never know. So anyways, that's it for, for those charts. So we know we're still on a negative strength, but where are we? We are actually ahead. So if you think about it, which is a good thing, we're actually halfway through the cycle. So basically, if you took your position right in the beginning of the swing scanner, we would have been so far 200 points up. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, perfect. So, uh, do I want to leave it on this page? Actually, I'll drag this one over. We can switch back and forth. Let's focus on this. Now this chart, I just, just old indicators, but a different methodology. And I'm going to get into these candles. What I'm trying to do, guys, and I think I did this actually in one of my indicators without with all these candles there. But what I'm trying to do, now it looks kind of weird. I'll let you. As you can see where there's wicks here, wicks here, wicks here, and then it does a retracement. And then you start seeing kind of like three flats here and we're going to watch here right, right by market maker and we are two minutes before open so we got to watch her do i have my delta around anywhere uh i gotta make sure i have oh my delta's right there so i can use that and but as you can see how it gets really flat really flat really flat and then boom another big flat spots here so you got three wicks totally flat four wicks totally flat what i'm doing guys I put a one minute, two minute, three minute, four minute, and a five minute chart all together. So at one minute, two minute, three minute confirmation, I said, okay, maybe we can go. So this is what I'm saying. Uh, so that's why you're starting to see these flat markers. 
I got two minutes. Let's see. I, I, am I going to buy? That's my question. I think there's going to be a. Let's see if this 931 sell off is really hard down to here, and then maybe we can buy it to 46, and then maybe the sell off the rest of the day. We're going to find out right away here. We'll watch Delta right away. Okay, let's see if there's a big sell-off or a buy. Order filled. Now I want to go up to hopefully if it keeps on pushing hard here. Gonna see if it's gonna hit at 07 or are we going to go to I'm gonna find out right away here. I'd like to get up to this order block or this order block here. Delta is still pushing. Can we get to 25? If we can get to 25, we can probably can get to 37 here. Remember, it's always the first five minutes. We're two minutes in. Um, actually, I might close here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to close. Filled. The reason why I'm closing here is because we had a one minute marker here. And so we're $240 in. Okay. And so we'll let them bounce down. Maybe it'll bounce down to here. We're going to find out that 46. If it really pushes again, I might jump in again. So it hit this order block right here. And what we can look for is we can see if it goes to 51, 150 or 60. If it breaks this line here, this is the market open price. So it might be a total sell off here. We're going to find out right away here because th this is one one bar here. Just give me a second. I got to grab. No, uh, I got to wait. I got to wait because we're going to find out right away here. Now we got some serious delta selling. Actually, I'm gonna grab a little bit. I just felt my coffee. Okay, so we made a few bucks on the scalp. She came down. We'll look at 946 here, and since that one is done, we can move that down to there.
And what I'm going to show you. Boom. Okay. So what I have here is I have a, I'm not sure if it's, is it a 15, 939, 935? What's this one? Let's go to, let's check here what I'm doing here. 30 minute. So I have a 30 minute bar plus my price action so I can watch it at this point in time. And the nice thing what I'm looking at is I'm looking at my, my high volume bar. Now look at this, we've got th four candles pushing. And, and and what I like to see about it is, is the is the price action of the four wicks here. And we have to see it because this was a um, you know a one, two, three minute bar, right? So the one minute bar is done. Now we're working on the two minute bar, and this is the three minute bar, and this is the four or this was the one minute bar, I guess. What time is that? So that's two, three, four. And the thing I like about it is, is it's, it's showing like you're looking at four or five charts at the same time. So you can watch the curves and that's what I like about it. So we'll let it crash. Um, actually we could almost go to, uh, we'll let it do a pullback. I'm going to do a sell here right away. Let's go for it. Uh, is that a 20? Sure. Order filled. Why is it doing that? Get to date. And what we can do is we can get to at least the 100 level. She's going to push for a while yet. Yeah, she's not done yet. So it needs to push because we've got till four more minutes yet. And plus we got a, a, a 127 extension here. Which chart am I on so I can show you? So what I'm looking at is we know the energy is so strong. We can try to get to even 100. Order filled. Hey, I'm done. Five hundred dollars for the day, like I always shoot for. So, I love the energy though. So, what I'm looking for is, let's just go through the charts, and I'm going to shut this down here. Um, I'm going to go back to the first chart here. First chart, we're having to sell off again. Maybe it'll get back to this bar. I don't know. A lot of volume, a lot of price action. So we knew it was negative. I did take a buy for a possible reversal. Within a minute, you saw me make a couple hundred bucks and then she started dropping like a stone. So we took the money going back down. That's the bottom line. Uh, oh, I canceled that chart, whatever. Okay, so then I was gonna go the four hour, but I just deleted it. So forget about that. And then what I'm gonna show you is we know we're all in negative energy here, a lot of negative delta. I was watching, literally I wanted to know what um, the price action is going on here. See how the sh she's still pushing, she's still pushing, she's still pushing. But I wanted to know if the 131, right now this is, looks like it's a possible inversion or a continuation, we don't know. But at 931 we took our points right to the order block, did close really quick, I didn't feel comfortable enough because I am going against energy. And then came back, boom, done. Okay, so make make my points. I could have held probably to um, probably to one hundred or to the hundred level. That's fine. I, I 
like I said, I don't get greedy, guys. I just want to put my points, make my dollars, walk away for the day. Because if my job is for 15, 20 minutes for $500 US, I'm happy. I can do whatever I want. That's almost $100,000 a year. Then I can play with my Bitcoin miner and finish this stupid wall that I project that I started with, which I'm still going to be hammering out all day today. So, and then here, what I, what I'm, I want to show you what this is and and what I'm looking out here okay I'm actually gonna have to open this up for you guys okay so what this is you're gonna see little arrows here 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 and here okay now what you want to see are grouping of arrows if I can find one and then you know you can go in right here see there's little groupings here boom boom then you know you can go there's a white return nothing blue to go and she's starting to go because we're within the energy the whites are failing guys when the whites start turning up we could probably go up oh it did hit my I should have kept it see oh whatever I made my goal and so what I've done, this is what I use for reference points. This is Isham's right here. So it's probably going to hit that target market marker. And then we got our Fibonacci 127, 141, 161. Red background, still showing bias of selling. That's actually from an old indicator I created. It was called uh, Direction, which is in here. I just turned everything off except for this bar. So basically what I'm looking for is with this bar here, that's moving, we are actually super, super sold right now. And I'm waiting for the turnaround. And when the turnaround starts kicking in, uh, then we know we can start buying in and let it run for a while. Okay. And then what this is, this one's actually from an, uh, another person that, that actually, I can't get into the specifics. But uh, it's a kind of interesting. And what I use this for is this indicator here is actually giving you the arrows. Okay. And I added this with a little bit of my own logic. But basically what we're looking for is when, when, when you can start seeing it tap down, tap down, tap down. And you got to be patient. You got to know your times as well. And what I'm trying to look for are multiple turnaround green energy dots for going up or multiple red energy for going down. Okay. But if it's but a lot of the times it will go up, oscillate up, oscillate down, oscillate up, oscillate down, right? And so what you want to do is wait for it to curl down. And then as you can see where she's pushing here, a lot of little dots here plus this one. This is a kind of a retracement. And but it's not ready yet. So so what I look for is once I know, because you know I like certain times, let's say 10 o'clock or 11.15 or whatever, I will really look at this within those parameter times. See if this is turning around because as you can see, you've got a white arrow here, white arrow here, some grouping of white arrows. We're at 9.44, okay? Now take a look at this. This is called the retracement time, possibly. Well, I want to go. Oh, this is on top. Let me just switch the screen here. Okay. Doesn't mean it's going to happen, but 946. Remember, I said this thing could have been inverted. This is a possibility. So we had some down arrows. Yeah, she's not ready yet. This could be our bottom. We don't know yet. But as you can see, where the pressure is holding, maybe for a turnaround. Early enough entry, possibly. High volume, resistance here, a lot of delta selling. So this is what I'm looking at. So with these two arrows, it's giving me maybe, an, an, a, or on the other page where I showed you, this is a possibility of a snapback. But we are going on negative energy right now. And when I'm looking at all this, so we have this pressure, this pressure. Now you can start seeing the buy pressure, and they're playing here. This is price action. Now let's switch over again. We had two white arrows, but it's still angling down, not up. So we have to wait. Delta is trickling down. 
We're at 127 extension. Remember, critical if you're a Fibonacci lover. Possibly 141, 161. We don't know yet. Now, the one indicator I took off the package was the, with my numbers here, and i got to put it on there because I really rely on that. So, and that's about it. It's, uh, let's see where we are on this chart. If it's a turnaround. So basically, if it was 946, what we said on Swing Market Analyzer, we probably could get a, a quick return here from 29, and then we know we have a support and resistance marker here. Now take a look at this. This is firing up. This is firing up. We know we have some resistance here, so we have to watch. And look at this. High volume rejection, possibly return here, but this is really strong, guys. And do we have any market makers below there? So we might be able to get down to here. Wow, that's a big drop, but you never know. And that's about it. Other than that, guys, just make sure you uh, you pinpoint your trades. If you have any questions, you know where I am. Just go to the homepage, ask questions. Take care. Adios, and have a great day.